I found this study shocking. This was a study done on oncologists, so doctors who treat people with cancer. And what the researchers asked was, when oncologists get cancer, how do they treat themselves? And the results were shocking to me. What they found is that while oncologists will recommend very aggressive treatments right up until the day someone dies when they have cancer, surprisingly, when they themselves get cancer, they are very conservative in how aggressively they treat themselves. And the researchers sort of were perplexed. Why would you do that when you're recommending aggressive treatment for your patients? Now, I thought in this video, it would be very interesting to divulge how I personally take traditional Chinese medicine formulas. Because while there's a difference between how I treat patients and how I treat myself, similar to how oncologists treat their patients and themselves when they get sick, I have a very minimalist treatment approach for myself. And I thought there would be a very good medical lesson here to help you learn about TCM. Hey guys, Dr. Alex Hein, board licensed acupuncturist and doctor of traditional Chinese medicine and author of the health book Master Zide. Let's jump into why I take traditional Chinese medicine formulas. Now, one of the first doctors I study with, a Korean man named Dr. Lee, he had this fascinating lesson on day one of our sort of integrative herbalism program. And what he said was that, what is the point and what is the role of medicine in taking herbal formulas? Because after all, people don't say it, traditional Chinese medicine formulas are incredibly strong. They are pharmaceutical strength a lot of the time and they will have side effects if they're abused, not prescribed right, or used for long periods of time without adjustment. What is the role of taking these formulas and what is the role of medicine in a person's life? And he gave the analogy or the metaphor of this kind of idea of partiality as he called it. Meaning that everyone has a tendency towards a certain thing. The condition could be weak digestion, getting a little bloating and food baby, irregular bowels or diarrhea from time to time. Maybe it's headaches under stress or a little bit of migraines. Maybe it's you're a woman and when you get high stress, your menstrual cycle gets dysregulated and the next one's really, really painful. But in general, we all have a sort of tilt towards a certain pathology. And if you can learn to recognize that tilt early on, and if you can learn to nudge it back to the center, you'll prevent 10% from becoming disease at 90%. What do you actually do to change this balance? Of course, lifestyle is the ideal because you don't wanna take medicine if you don't have to, but this is the role of formulas in traditional Chinese medicine and acupuncture. When the body is tilted 10% towards migraine, we just go and we push it right back towards the center so that migraines will not come back. Now in that same vein, this is the reason why we wanna be, frankly, very conservative in our treatments. The goal should never be to keep someone on a medication or a traditional formula forever. The goal is to put myself out of business, to get you better in three to six months and then set you free to go live your life. But for many of us, that's not possible. And that's where we need to treat things. And that's where medicine comes in. Now let's think about three traditional herbal formulas that I take and why I take them. For the recurring problems that I'll give you, my own personal issues that come up from time to time with high stress, being self-employed and seeing patients and shooting videos, the first one is for the pattern of elevated stress response. Feeling stressed, anxiety, palpitations occasionally, insomnia if there's too much work for one day. If I'm not able to quench those and quell that storm, with meditation or with the gym or with taking time off and it's still happening, then I begin to treat it medically. Now, one formula I use for this is called Lingue Jugantang. Now, Lingue Jugantang is a formula comprised of four herbs. There's a paper here called Clinical Evidence and Potential Mechanisms of Complementary Treatment of Lingue Jugantang. This is talking about serum lipids and obesity. But in particular, they talked a little bit about the herbs involved in what they do. And I'll give you a brief breakdown here so you can understand a bit about Chinese medicine. Believe it or not, the chief herb here in the highest dose is called Fuling. Now, Fuling is a fungus, a mushroom called Poria. And what Poria traditionally is used for anxiety, palpitations, and urinary dysfunction. But what's fascinating is when you look at it in a laboratory setting, when they've done studies on mice, they find that fooling works directly on serotonin levels. And in one particular study, when they expose mice to chronic stress, stress that they can't control, what they found was that the anxiety measured in the nervous system parameters and measured in certain neurotransmitters was mitigated by taking the poria, the fooling, and had a potent antidepressant effect. Fooling is not only good for appetite, helps with your hunger hormones, it's also great for bloating and SIBO and that kind of thing. The second herb, I would say the queen here, is guajir or cinnamon twig. Now this is medical grade cinnamon twig or cinnamon bark, which I often talk about here as being the god of the nervous system. Formulas high in guajir, nine grams or more, are the primary formulas I use to help get patients off antidepressants, especially anti-anxiety medication. For guajir, what it primarily does is decreases in elevated 
heart rate, stops palpitations, stops the feeling of anxiety or tension, you know, the stress hormones coursing through the body, and is amazing for sleep. So lots of people have anxiety and sleeping issues. Guajir is the god of treating that. Some of the other herbs in there, Baiju, Attractylodes, or Jagansao, Honey Fried Licorice. Baiju is typically used for bloating, low appetite, that kind of thing. And Honey Fried Licorice, we say, holds the formula together. Formula number two. This one is called Li Wan, or Regulate the Middle Pill. So Li Wan is typically used for my pattern where typically when I'm stressed or overworking, or maybe I've just eaten out over the weekend and my GI is a little funky, waking up feeling a little nauseous, indigested, a little phlegmy, or getting a little bit of acid reflux because I had coffee in the morning and uh, wine at night and maybe a burger, something I don't normally eat, and my GI has gotten a little bit weak and it's feeling a little off. Li Zhong Wan, we typically use to strengthen the middle, the middle burner being the digestive system. And it's comprised of four herbs also, Ren Chen, which is ginseng, Bai Zhu, we just talked about, we say drains dampness, Gan Jiang, dried ginger at a high dose, and Jirgan Sao again, honey fried licorice. This herbal combination is fantastic for improving stomach acid levels and improving pancreatic enzyme levels, as well as treating gastroparesis. So lots of people come in and see me and they say, oh, I feel like food sits on my stomach. I feel indigested. I don't have appetite. This formula is the god of treating that. And finally, formula number three is what we call Xiao Jin Zhong Tang which is minor build the middle decoction. I use this typically around the seasonal changes where I start to get a lot of dry skin, sometimes itchy skin or a little bit of dandruff in the seasons, like particularly going into winter. It was more of an issue when I was living back in New England, but less so living in California. And this dryness is what we call blood dryness. So the blood is related to the hair, skin, nails, and really a lot of the hormonal aspects of the body. I typically use this formula when my skin is getting very dried out. It works much, much better than applying lotion because Surprise, surprise, it's a functional issue. It's not just dealing with the surface. It's actually, there are other parts of your body that will be nourished when you build the blood in a traditional Chinese medicine point of view. Hair, skin, nails, libido, a woman's cycle, all of those are related to the status of the blood. Those are my three bread and butter formulas that I typically will go one or two months without. And then if I notice the symptoms flare up, then I'll take them for a month straight and then take another month or two off and let the body go back. You always push it. You don't want to push it too far because in the same way, you can take a medication or a formula for too long and push it right back into pathology. The highest level of physician, of doctor, always tries to nudge things to the center and then stop. Let the body, the first doctor, take care of the rest. Now, of course, these are just some of the daily rituals I do to maintain my own health, having a stressful profession and doing all these things. I've also put together a free guide, which is four daily rituals that can potentially help you add years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. So they're kind of like maybe a little bit more Taoist or Far Eastern habits. You guys can check it out. It's the link below this video. I also see a limited number of new patients every single month in my clinic in Los Angeles or virtually via telemedicine. So if you want to learn more and reach out, you can just call or visit the link below this video, dralexheincom forward slash clinic. And we can always chat more about getting you booked up. And besides that, I have more information here in this other related video on the herbs I take and why to take them.